Let's go test it out, make sure it works. Okay, so we'll turn the light on. And you can hear that the bathroom fan turned on right away. I'll turn it off and we'll check back in 15 minutes. And 15 minutes later, and that guy is off. So everything is working. All right, so why would I want to change this thing in the first place? I do have a moisture sensing switch in there right now, but as you can see for any other use, that switch is just worn out and barely ever works. Now I feel comfortable doing my own electronics, so I'm gonna do mine myself. If you don't feel comfortable, make sure you get a licensed electrician to install your switches for you. I do take and uh, make sure this tester is functioning before I stick it inside the box, just to make sure. So I'll just check it on a plug that I know is working fine. Uh, so this is the power wire or the line wire that's going to L and then the capacitor crosses over and that one goes to L1. Should be all hooked up. We'll go turn on the power. All right, that looks like it's all good. We'll put it into pairing mode. Flash in there for pairing. I hope you can see that. All right, we're just going to go to Homey Pro now. Go a new device, and that is a Tuya one gang switch module. Connect, and let's see what happens. known Zigbee device added, but there it is. Works as an on and off, and that's all I really need anyway. So let's see if that actually does anything. Okay, so that's all working, but that's not the end result for me. I don't want that fan just to be uh, a remote control whenever I want. I want it to know when to go on and off all by itself. So I do have to put something in there to let it know when it goes on and off. Now, optionally, I could just wire that switch into that other switch and anytime the light goes on, the fan goes on. But I don't think that's going to take enough moisture out of the air after you have a shower in there. So um, what I want to do is anytime that switch turns on, I want the bathroom fan to go on. When it turns off, maybe run for an extra 10 or 15 minutes, something like that. So to do that, I'm also going to stick the uh, in Brighton switch in there. This is also a Zigbee switch. And this will tell me when that switch turns on, and then I can make a uh, logic function to work in Homey Pro. Now, the good thing about wiring this switch in is it's pretty self-explanatory. I just put the right wires into the right locations, pair it up, and run my logic. Okay, so I've got everything wired up, and it uh, should all be set to go. We will have to pair this new switch with Homey Pro as well, so I'm going to do that right away. I'll turn the breaker on before I tuck everything in and close everything up. Hmm, still unable to connect, eh? Okay, so I'm clearly having some difficulty getting that in Brighton switch on, and I have a theory. I think it's trying to connect up to the other Zigbee switch again because I'm restoring the power instead of getting the Brighton switch. So I'm going to disconnect the one that's controlling the fan and then try again to see if I can get it to connect. All right, as you can see, I've just left the wires there. Module's not connected here. Let's try this again. Add a new device, Zigbee, continue. All right, we'll go turn the power on. There we go. That did the trick. We'll go through continue setup here. And this is the bathroom downstairs. The icon will change to a light switch. And finish. Got it. So, we have our device here. That works. This one will not right now because it's disconnected. So I'll turn the power back off, connect that back up and see if everything connects. Okay, module is connected back up. Everything is connected. Uh, both devices are installed. I'll turn the power on.
Okay, I hear the bathroom fan running. And everything is doing what it's supposed to. Perfect. We can close this back up and then we can do the automation. Okay, we've got it all hooked up. Covers closed back up. Let's get the automation running. First off, we're going to rename this thing to something other than Zigbee device. Basement, bathroom lights. Oh, that's my OCD can't take that. There we go. And this will be basement, bathroom, fan. And we can change that icon as well. To something a little more fan looking like. That looks like a fan, but not that kind of fan. Sure, why not? Save, done deal. Now we're going to go to uh, flows and we're going to create a flow. I'm just going to make it advanced because that gives me options. And we're going to say when. In our bathroom, our light turned on. It's going to be one trigger. And when. The bathroom light turned off is going to be the other trigger. And what we want it to do is then on the ground floor bathroom fan turn on. And the other one will be turn it off. Bathroom, fan, uh, turn off. Perfect. We got to turn on, we got to turn off. So this is simple enough. That does that. And we are going to add a delay for this one. And we are just going to say 15 minutes. We'll start it with that, and hopefully that will do the trick. And from there to there, and we click and save. And we can call that bathroom ventilation. And it's done. That's it.